The third generation Mercedes C-Class coded W204 was first shown to the world at the 2007 Geneva Motor Show before deliveries began in March 2007 for Europe with the world market following soon after. Among a list of achievements for the C-Class was a world first in its development stage. Beginning in 2003, a digital prototype of the car was created and tested using over 2 terabytes of computed power and running it through a series of virtual tests that equated to 15 million driven miles. A physical prototype made of fiberglass was formed in 2004 for pattern application. At the time of the C-Class's launch, it was the most tested Mercedes ever, having over 24 million kilometers of testing completed by 2009. However, it would lose the title pretty quickly with the release of the W212 E-Class that amassed over 35 million kilometers of testing. The C-Class received awards for Car of the Year by Australian Wheels magazine, Executive Car of the Year from Top Gear, and Japan's Import Car of the Year. For used buyers, there should be plenty of choice on the market with 2.4 million C-Class vehicles sold worldwide. Maximum choice is likely to be found when looking for a 2008 or 2011 model as these two years are particularly popular and highlight the launch and facelift years. The saloon and estate or wagon version were sold from launch in most markets with the coupe following in 2011. The release of the coupe was coincided with the facelift for the saloon and estate that began production in December 2010 for 2011 deliveries. This time the 2011 Detroit Motor Show and Auto Shanghai Show were elected to reveal the facelift models to the world. Production of the C-Class in sedan and station wagon ended in 2014, with the coupe lasting another year of production into 2015. As usual, we will make a separate video for the most powerful C-Class, the C63 AMG, but it is worth noting that the 6.2 litre V8 was not offered in any other C-Class model. It is also worth noting that all C-Class models except the C63 were available to order in both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive in most markets. In case you are wondering where your C-Class was built, it will depend on your home market and model selection, as although German plants in Sindelfingen and Bremen built a large number of C-Class models including the later coupe model, the plant in South Africa was also a major producer. Other assembly plants in China, Brazil, Malaysia and India were also utilised. Of all markets, the most prominent for the third generation C-Class was the USA, with a total of 25% of all C-Class models being sold among the Stars and Stripes states, but China also became a critical market for Mercedes at the time, as a new generation of buyers were waking up to the possibility of owning a Mercedes-Benz for the first time ever. Germany followed with strong sales in the home market. Safety testing for the C-Class changed for the European NCAP during the model's lifetime, but it scored 5 stars, a rating that is now expired. Adult occupancy was the strongest of all with 5 stars, and an 82% rating as the testings changed. Child occupant safety scored 3 stars out of 5 initially, but was rated at 70% 2 years into production as new safety testing started. Moving on to the recalls and a reminder to like and subscribe to the video if you feel we've earned it, it really does help the video be found to a wider audience and boost the channel. A November 2010 recall was made for production models from June 2009 to February 2010 for partial or full loss of steering assistance. A loss of fluid was discovered to be the cause at the junction between the high pressure line and the steering pump. Owners would usually hear a whine or squealing noise before full loss of steering assistance. A second recall for steering loss was made in April 2017, this time focused on a small batch of production models in May 2013. A separate issue with a bolt tightened outside of safety limits was discovered on this production batch. Owners were advised and a new bolt was torqued correctly to specification. C-Class models equipped with a diesel engine had three separate recalls for fuel leaks. Not all cars produced were affected, but if buying a 2.1 litre diesel produced from November 2009 to 2010, a 3 litre from November 2009 to July 2011, or any diesel variant built in 2014, is worth asking the owner and checking the service book to see if a recall has been carried out. Finally, there were four recalls for airbags. Two of these were either for non-function or on-commanded deployment of airbags due to electrical issues or corrosion of the control unit, 
and the second two were well documented to Carter airbag recalls that affected a large range of vehicles from a wide range of manufacturers. Moisture buildup could lead to a weakening of the metal inflator that then risks rupturing and sending shards of metal into the cabin on the deployment of the airbag. Model years affected are noted as 2008 to 2011 and then 2012 are added in the second recall. Next up are the common faults and a reminder that our lists are non-exhaustive and so if you feel we've missed something or have personal experience to share, please add it in the comments below. We found several owners report of oil warning lights when the engine had a correct oil level. If buying with the light on, then note that it is likely a failure of the oil level switch. It is worth pausing to get this checked first, as owners that have topped up the oil when the light came on risk causing engine damage running with too much oil in the engine. If the vehicle is equipped with a sunroof that doesn't close on command, it is likely a failure of the control module. For those living in climates that see snow, be aware that Mercedes revised the cowl for an air intake into the air conditioning climate system. The early design allowed snow or ice to enter into the cowl, damaging the system. The revised item was added to later models, but is designed to be retrofitted to all models. The C-Class came with a choice of three gearboxes, depending on your home market, a six-speed manual, a six-speed automatic, and a seven-speed automatic, commonly referred to as 7G. The latter was very popular but has become known for a variety of electrical issues. The transmission control unit can begin to fail. Hard gear shifts that shudder through the car are a key sign to look out for while on a test drive. Specialists report the most common repair is either a software update or sensor replacements. In a worst case, the whole control unit will need replacing. If viewing a C-Class equipped with Xenon headlights, then be aware that corrosion can build up at the multi-connector at the back of the lens. This will require replacement, so if a seller mentions a bulb is out, don't take it to be a relatively cheap repair and ask whether the car has ever had the multi-connectors replaced. Note that the C-Class vehicles are available with either real leather or high quality vinyl material called MB Tex. The preference is up to you and MB Tex simulates leather quite well, but it should be noticed that getting replacement material to match can be quite a bit more difficult. Some prefer leather and some prefer vinyl. As long as you know what you're getting, you shouldn't be disappointed. Be aware of creaks and squeaks from the dashboard. This problem was most notable on pre-facelift cars produced from 2007 to 2010. Some owners were particularly bothered by the noises and spent considerable time discovering their cause and sound deadening the area. Before taking any C-Class for a drive, check the steering lock functions by attempting to move the wheel without the key in the ignition slot. The last common issue is a cosmetic one. Wheels can show signs of corrosion and can be difficult and expensive to get refurbished depending on the wheel option fitted. Take the time to inspect each wheel and if there are any signs of corrosion make sure you're happy with the price after factoring in a repair. It may be worth taking a couple of pictures of the wheels and getting an estimate for refurbishment prior to shaking hands on a final price for the car to make sure you keep within your budget. If an owner has had a recent wheel refurb with an invoice from a reputable repair shop take it as a positive buying sign. Next up the engines and we'll start with the diesels. The 2.1 litre four cylinder turbo diesel was the most efficient and was offered across the C180, C200 and C220 CDI. There are two variants with the first coded OM646 and then OM651. The main difference being the blue efficiency badge. The OM646 is the engine you will get if buying a model up to 2009 production. Note this may be up to the 2010 model year in your home market. Power ranges from 134 brake horsepower to 168 brake horsepower on this engine. The later OM651 was offered in 188 brake horsepower for the C180 model. Otherwise, it matches the earlier engine put in the C200 and C220 CDI. Fuel economy ranges from 40.4 to 57.2 miles per gallon or 6.99 to 4.94 litres per 100 kilometres. A twin turbo variant of the OM651 engine is offered in the C250 CDI trim, producing 201 brake horsepower. Three areas of concern on this engine are fuel injectors, as the copper seal is susceptible to wear, causing a leaky injector on early engines, and then the injector failures and timing chains and guides either wearing or braking on the later OM651 engines. Mercedes attempted to resolve the issue with updated piezo injectors, but this didn't fully rectify the issue and magnetic solenoid injectors were fitted. From 2012 production, these became the factory fit injectors. Listen out for any chafing or clattering noise from around the timing gear. 
The chain and tensioner has restricted access due to the gearbox and can be an expensive job to replace. Any car with a recent history of this replacement and the paperwork to back it up should be looked at with a preference even if it is a bit more expensive as you may be saving yourself a large bill. The 3 litre V6 twin turbocharged diesel followed the same dates for added blue efficiency but used the same OM642 engine coat across the years of production. Early models are badge 320 and 350 CDI with 350 remaining but 300 CDI replacing the 320 CDI nameplate in later models. Power is rated at 221 brake horsepower in early models and then 228 brake horsepower for the 350 CDI until 2011. After this power is increased to 261 brake horsepower. Expect fuel economy of 42.8 to 47.7 miles per gallon or 6.6 .6 to 5.92 litres per 100 kilometres. If looking at an earlier model then check around the oil cooler for any leaks as the seals can fail. Also note the temperature sensors can fail. A newer part was manufactured by Mercedes that was more robust. Part number AD07 1537428. Listen to the engine at idle for any knocking or loud ticking noises as a Mercedes service bulletin due to the main bearing shells on the crankshaft being defected and needed replacing. Check around the turbocharger for any signs of oil leaks. Unfortunately the leak that needs to be looked out for is unlikely to be visible. Oil leaks into the inlet of the turbo which leads to the swell motor valves becoming inoperable leading to restricted performance. Owners that have ignored the restricted performance and attempted to keep driving by resetting the warning system have caused further damage to the engine. Next is the petrols and although there was a wider variety of performance, engine sizes and both supercharged and turbocharged engines on offer, they are essentially three variants. First is the M271 variant found in models badge C180, C200 and C250. Canadians should note that the C250 to 2009 is a different motor that is badge C230 in the USA. If built before 2010 with a C180 or C200 badge, this is a supercharged engine, after it becomes turbocharged. Power ranges from 154 brake horsepower in the C180 across all years, to 181 brake horsepower in the C200 and 201 brake horsepower in the C250. Expect fuel economy between 43.5 and 37.2 miles per gallon or 6.49 to 7.59 litres per 100 kilometres. It is important to note that Mercedes recognised a problem with the M271 engine for the camshaft adjuster failure and the design was changed in 2012 model year vehicles. Prior to this the teeth can wear prematurely leading to a variety of problems including timing chain stretch or the engine jumping out of timing causing further damage. Next is the M272 engine found in models badge C230, C280, C300 and C350. The naturally aspirated V6 is a 2.5 litre in the C230 model, a 3 litre in the C280 and earlier C300 models and a 3.5 litre in the C350 up to 2010. Power starts at 201 brake horsepower, then up to 228 brake horsepower, 248 brake horsepower and then 268 brake horsepower. Not all world markets were offered every variant and generally the more popular models were either the entry power models or the most powerful versions. Fuel economy average is at 30.4 miles per gallon or 9.29 litres per 100 kilometres across the range with only a small variance across power bands. Actuator cams of the inlet manifold can snap due to carbon deposits with a telltale sign of a rough idle and engine codes of either P2004 or P2005. Keep an eye on engine temperatures when on a test drive as thermostat failure has caused overheating problems for some owners. To avoid this many decide to change the thermostat as preventative maintenance at 100,000 miles. If you view one that has already had this done take it as a positive buying sign. Lastly is the M276 motor found in the C300 after model year 2012 and C350 the 3.5 litre V6 starts with 248 brake horsepower in late C300 models and goes up in power to 288 and 302 brake horsepower in the C350 model. Fuel economy ranges from 28.8 miles per gallon or 9.81 litres per 100 kilometres being a common average. Two things of note when buying is that the secondary chain doesn't receive a good supply of oil on startup. 
Mercedes rectified this issue into the 2014 model year examples. If buying before this date, it is best to let the engine oil circulate for 10 to 20 seconds before moving off to reduce stress on the secondary chain while it runs with a lower supply of oil. Ultimately, many owners resort to changing the chain as mileage builds up on these motors. Any rattling on startup is your first indication of a fault in the timing chain. The second area to check for is carbon buildup. Any rough idle or hesitation is a sign the engine may have buildup of carbon that needs clearing. Media blasting the valves is usually the best remedy, and specialists can do the job in a couple of hours. As mentioned earlier, we'll give the AMG model its own video as we generally do for all high performance variants. For our picks, we'd either go for a C220 CDI from 2012 onwards, or on a higher budget, a well cared for C350, or if power isn't too important, a low mileage late C200. We also have a video on the Mercedes E-Class if you're deciding between the two, or BMW E90 Generation 3 Series if cross-shopping brands.